The Daily Gospel Network, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ every day. Join our featured ministry for happiness, healing, and purpose. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us as we proclaim God's love and help you step into your season. Coming up on the Daily Gospel Network. Welcome church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. We want to share with you, yeah, in your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in the streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives with a one touch ministries. We're here for you right now. Hey, praise the Lord, everyone. And again, welcome to the One Touch Ministry broadcast. I am Pastor Shannon, and this is the woman of the hour because she can ready to give this word on today, and I am so excited. Can you just give a brief introduction on what you're talking about? Well, listen, I'm talking about the Job experience, mm -hmm. and when I tell you Job had an experience, and, and the Word of God, he just breaks everything down, but there's some key things that I really want you to listen to, and I'm telling you, you'll figure it out when you listen to the message, but I want to tell you this. Are you a messenger mm. or are you a servant? My God. That's the question that I wanted to ask you today. My God, I'm telling <laughs> you, and I can't wait till you hear this. And listen, because this message was so powerful and so yeah. impactful, yes. um, we actually couldn't put the whole entire message yeah. right here on the Daily Gospel Network. So <laughs> you have to go to our YouTube channel yes. and get the full entire message yes. so make sure you find us on youtube one touch ministries you're going to see this banner that's on our screen right now and hey make sure you join us um i mean click and subscribe join us on next month in south carolina where we're going to be with bishop rice and we just have Ooh, so many God. things that's coming up <laughs> so so thank, many things <laughs> yes yeah, so thank you guys so much for tuning in yes. And watch this. We thank God. I praise God for our leaders. Hallelujah. Pastor Theodore King and First Lady Beth, we praise God for them. I praise God for the air of opportunity to be able to stand before you today and deliver a word from God. I know you're probably saying, well, why is she up here? Well, sometimes God has to do a switcheroo, and he has to switch things up a little bit. And I'm telling you, and I praise God because it's good to make yourself available to the assignments of the Holy Spirit. So let's give God another hand clap. Come on, let's give God another hand clap. Don't sit quiet. Glory to God. 
My God, I'm so excited. Hallelujah. If you would turn with me to Job, the first chapter. I'm going to give you a few seconds to get yourself in order. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I thank you. Father, we just ask you to come in this place and do what you know to do. God, we ask you to take full control right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So if you would go with me to Job, the first chapter, if you have it, please say amen. amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm just going to read verses 1 to 3 because Job to me, he doesn't really need too much push because Job, his life spoke for itself. But I'm going to read verses 1 to 3. Job was a man who lived in Oz. He was honest inside and out. A man of his word who was totally devoted well. to God and hated evil with a passion. Amen. Or do you have passion today? My God. He had seven sons and three daughters. He was also very wealthy. 7,000 head of sheep. 3,000 camels. Five hundred teams of oxen, five hundred donkeys, yes. and a huge staff of servants. My question is, are you willing to be a servant? Yes. Oh, glory to God. We're going somewhere with this thing. All right. And the most influential man in all the East. What influence do you have? on the kingdom today. <laughs> Those are the kind of questions I want to ask you. Once again, do you have passion? Glory to God. Are you willing to be a servant? And what kind of influence do you have on the kingdom today? Come on. Hallelujah. I, I kind of want to take my time just for a moment. I don't want to get too excited. See, I know me. I can get excited in a, in a just, I'll just go wild. But I want you to have an experience today. Right. My God from Zion. So if I would use for a title today, a, a title, I, I guess I would say experience, embrace, live. Yes. Those three words. I said experience, Embrace and live. Yes. Experience is different from embracing, and embracing is different from living. Right. Yes. Okay. Glory to God. So God gave me something to say today. He said, experience can cause fear, which will cause you not to want to embrace the spirit to live. I'm going to say that again. I said experience can cause you fear, which will cause you not to want to embrace the spirit to live. Amen. Job was having an experience. Glory to God. And the reason why I, I like to call this the Job experience, because I don't know if you've been through anything, but uh, I a few things in my life and, and sometimes when you go through things it causes you to have a huge experience and sometimes we call it trauma Come on. okay I said sometimes we call experience trauma because why it triggers something inside of your body it triggers something inside of your mind it causes you to go up Side down, and it causes your emotions to go all over the place. One minute you're happy, next minute you're sad. One minute you have, are laughing, and the next minute you're crying. And, and there's going to be times when you sit in the dark and you don't know the reason. So that means depression has taken over your mind. 
and try to steal your wealth. Try to take your money. Try to cause you to lose a job. Get you laid off. Uh, 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 you didn't get a stimulus check. Uh, oh, you're sitting there worried about where your next bill is coming from. Uh, you're worried about how your bills are going to get paid. But one thing about it, you have to remember the hedge that is covering you. And it's covering your what? Soul. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, Satan began to touch his wealth. He began to touch the animals that he possessed. Oh, A messenger came by and began to tell Job the oxen. Oh, my God, the oxen. And then all of a sudden, here come the donkeys. The donkeys, there's something wrong with the donkeys. See, and, and, and it was so funny how it didn't say a servant came. Well. <laughs> the, 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 the text did not say a servant came. It said a messenger came to Job. So you know what happens when the man delivers a message. It's really not what you want it to be. But had he been a servant. Okay, so I'm going to break this down for you. Uh -huh. A servant. Somebody who's willing to serve. Amen. Ah, my, 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 my. A servant, someone who's willing to bear arms with you. A, a, a servant who's willing to bow down and doesn't have their own personal agenda. Oh, come on now. See, y'all, 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 y'
I just had to throw that in there. That's an FYI for your information. Jeez, more great. My God. Yes. I had to let you know because one thing about being a leader, it's not easy. That's right. Because the weight falls on you. The pastor, the weight falls on the pastor. Yeah. When things go wrong in the church, they call the pastor. When the bills don't get paid, they call the pastor. When the police come, they call the pastor. When the people are dying, they call the pastor. When you can't bury your loved one, who do you call? The pastor. Glory to God. You didn't like that one, but it's all right. Yeah. Sometimes some shame has to come your way. My God from Zion. But what I say is experience, and experience is tough. Amen. It is. It is really tough. Yeah. It brings your emotions to a level where, where you feel like everything in the world is going wrong. Mm. And that's exactly what happened to Job. And when you're experiencing things, a lot of times you feel like you're the only one that's experiencing this thing. And Job felt lonely. Job felt like there was nobody there to comfort him. Job felt like he couldn't do nothing. Uh, uh, he needed somebody to bear arms with him. But where was Job's servants and armor bearers at the time? There was nobody around but a messenger. A man and a woman that bears bad news. Yeah, it seemed like when he would turn to his right, trying to get a little bit of peace, uh, what happened? Here comes another messenger. When he ran to the left, uh, here he go. Uh, here comes another messenger bearing some bad news to him. My God. Do you feel like that day after day? Sometimes uh, you feel like people are just coming and calling you with a whole bunch of bad news. People passing away. Uh, bills are not getting paid. Not knowing where your next meal is coming from. Not knowing if you wake up in the morning where you have a job. Uh, where you, uh, 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 how things are going to happen for the children. My God from Zion. You are wondering, wondering, wondering. Because the messenger just keeps knocking at the door. Every time you turn around. And you feel like you uh, prayed and fasted, and, and you feel like you healed from that one. Here comes a knock at the door. Uh, another messenger coming to, the, to deliver some more bad news. Uh, oh, glory to God. But the one last piece of information from a messenger Jesus. that was willing. Mm. I said it. That was willing to deliver the bad news. Yeah. See, with a messenger, they have to have some type of hope on their life. Mm. They have to have some type of uh, uh, of joy with delivering news. Come on. Ah. So that means that they're disconnected from their feelings. They're disconnected from the Holy Ghost. They're disconnected from the emotional side. Because one thing about it, a person who's a servant, they don't have a call to deliver bad news. My God. You say, I got a call on my life. My question is, what kind of call on your life do you have? Do you have a, 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 a messenger's call? Or do you have a servant's call? Okay, I just wanted to throw that one out there to you. My God. So the messenger came and he gave, my God, Job, the last piece of the bad news. My God, Jesus. Oh, God. And this is where the story really begins to shift for me. Oh, Do you remember in the beginning of the chapter? I'm going to just let you know. It said, hallelujah, glory to God. In the beginning, it said, uh, 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 he had mm -hmm. seven sons mm -hmm. and three daughters. Yes. <laughs> the last bit of bad news was about his children. Yeah. Oh, come on. I don't know about you, but my child is near and dear to my what? Heart. My God, that pulls on my heart strength. When my daughter tells me, Mommy, I really don't feel good. It, it, I go from this 
big strong woman to this little lamb that goes, oh my God, baby, come, come sit with mama. Oh, come lay on mama's bosom. Come on, let me come for you. See, that, see, that's what happens when you are a mama. That's what happens when you are a father. When you are a compassionate parent, glory to God. You get excited when your children come to you and say, I really don't feel too good. information on today's Spotlight Church, visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network. And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.